Hi, my name is Sasha Ovsenko. I'm, I'm with LinkedIn. You guys uh, have a good lunch? Yeah? Uh, okay, my, mine was good, thank you, as well. So I'm, uh, I'm going to talk uh, about scouting, which is uh, a great thing. We'll talk about it. Oh, wait. How do I? Yep, like that. Um, and uh, uh, OK, here we go. I want to uh, talk about data-driven uh, product development. And I also want to uh, talk about the scouting, which is uh, a Scala a DSL for Hadoop development. And I, I want to I show you how these this, uh, two things come together in a very nice way and why you should uh, check it out. So um, let's, uh, uh, let's have a little show of hands of uh, how many of you uh, do, uh, work on a service that uh, touches uh, users. OK, uh, great. So, um, so that's your service, and this is your user. And hopefully, um, you provide some value to, to the users, and that's, that's why they like your service. Uh, Next question is, uh, what is what is it you get from this service? So, uh, first thing you get from this uh, for, from this service is uh, data. So, uh, if you are uh, if if you have many users working with your service, um, you have a lot of data um, uh, getting out of that, and there's a lot of uh, things you can do with it. So, you can do some processing of this data, and you can do you know, they uh, get some insights about how your service, service is working for the user. And hopefully, uh, by processing this data, you uh, can turn your service in, into an amazing service that uh, gives a lot of data to the user, and then uh, at the end, you, you obviously, you will profit or improve your service. So that's the goal. Uh, we were working uh, towards, uh, at least in LinkedIn, and this is how uh, it works in, in, in our, our situation. So we have a, a so-called online world, uh, which is a, a services that users are interacting with, uh, and uh, we have a, a so-called offline world, uh, which is, uh, runs mainly Hadoop, but, but other uh, systems as well. And uh, there's a lot of data that is coming uh, from, from the uh, online service into, into the offline. Uh, this data comes from, uh, oh, let me see if I can, no, I can't, okay. So, yeah, uh, the, there's a lot of data is coming uh, via the ETL processes uh, from the databases, and uh, there's data that is coming uh, from tracking and logging of the services, and all, all of this data uh, ends up in, uh, in the Hadoop file system, HDFS. Uh, wh uh, with, with this wealth of data, uh, there's a lot of things we can, uh, we can do, and uh, we can uh, run um, different operations that um, perform analytics on the data, and then people will look at, at this uh, results of this analytics, or look at these reports, and get some insights about how can we improve uh, things? And then based on that, uh, we would create some data products, some, some, some uh, algorithmic uh, improvements that we will, um, what we think will improve the user experience. And uh, these improvements will uh, travel back to the online world, um, end up in, in some data that, that could be serverable to the users online. Uh, also, there's a, uh, th there's a part, and this part that I'm, I'm working on, which is basically uh, using this data to uh, get some, some interesting uh, insights uh, to back to users themselves and send them via uh, messaging, via email, or um, the push notifications. So that's, uh, that's how we use, uh, uh, that's what, uh, what we mean by uh, data-driven uh, product development at LinkedIn. Uh, obviously, we, uh, with, with, with the amount of data that, that we have coming from uh, uh, online, um, we, we are facing these scaling problems, and we need to, uh, we need to figure out how do we uh, scale this, uh, um, how, how we efficiently work with the data at this scale. 
Uh, also, um, the complexity of the data is, uh, is uh, pretty, pretty significant and growing because uh, with, the, with the amount of uh, uh, products we have, uh, there's, there's a big variance of the data that is um, th that's stored offline and we need, you need to process with. And it is also um, also a problem to deal uh, we have to deal with. <clears throat> so uh, I just wanted to know that that uh, um, in the time I have I, I, I can't talk too much about this. So if you are if you're interested in more, there um, the, the are a couple of links uh, that talk about uh, LinkedIn uh, big data ecosystem by Jay Krebs, and uh, another one uh, on grid operations by Alan Wittenauer. So check them out. It, if you're interested. So these are the problems, scaling and complexity that, that we're dealing with and uh, uh, we, uh, we're looking for good ways to, to solve them. So that's, the next question is what, what does it have uh, all to do with, the, uh, with Scala? We are Scala conference, right? So uh, next I want to talk about scouting. Uh, Scouting uh, is a Scala-based DSL for um, Hadoop MapReduce jobs. And uh, as far as I understand, we had, we had a great talk uh, by Mate in, uh, in the morning about uh, Spark. Uh, as I understand, Scouting uh, was inspired by the um, kind of straightforwardness and simplicity of the Spark interface. And uh, as creators of, uh, uh, of Scouting, the group at Twitter, they um, try to, to reproduce the same kind of intuitive interface for, for Hadoop map reduced jobs. And they uh, succeeded with that. Uh, it's built on a Java framework for Hadoop development called Cascading, uh, which is, uh, has been around uh, for a little while and, and it's, it's a really um, good platform to build uh, this kind of, uh, kind of thing. So the, the API, um, oh, l l l let's have another show of hands. How many of you had a chance to work with Hadoop? Uh, quite a few people. And uh, uh, there, there are different ways you can work with Hadoop. The, the, somebody has mentioned the pig uh, um, as, as one of the tools and uh, you can uh, write jobs in Java. And uh, sometimes it gets very technical and uh, gets uh, done at the physical level. Um, somewhat reminiscent of uh, what uh, databases look, look like before SQL and things like that. So um, the, uh, the API that uh, Scouting uses is, uh, uh, is uh, a much higher level. So this is a little example of that. You don't have to understand all of it, but uh, just looking at this, you, you can see that how you uh, read the read, uh, uh, input file uh, that is passed as an input parameter, then you do flat map um, <coughs> operation on it, breaking it into words, and then you uh, group by uh, words, and then you count these words and write, uh, write the output. So that's, that's the level of the interface uh, we're working with. Uh, and as such, it's, uh, it's, it's a very succinct and powerful, and uh, this, is, this is very, very important for that. So uh, how does it help us with, with the scaling? So uh, because of the uh, huge volume of data, we need to run this uh, data in a distributed manner. Um, there's no other way around it. So in order to do that, uh, we, uh, we can, we can you know, go, go uh, low level and specify for every particular operation, how many computers will it run on and uh, what, how they will talk together. Um, there are even APIs for that. Uh, but um, that will take a lot of uh, time to do. So uh, it will it, be nice to have, it, to, to have a, a high level description of these algorithms. And uh, obviously, functional programming uh, is, is uh, one nice way of doing it. So that's, uh, that's one of the ways that how, um, how this, uh, um, how scouting and Scala uh, can help with that. So uh, here I'm, I'm showing an example of, uh, can anybody, uh, do you guys, can, are you able to see the code in any way or, well, you, you don't have to be uh, to see the 
uh, to the very detail. We won't go over, over it in very detail, but uh, what you can see here is that you, uh, you have operations like group by, join, then values, which is uh, some sort of projection, then another group by, uh, then count, uh, count, the, count the, uh, the results of the grouping, and then uh, map, and then uh, again group, and, and so on. So this is actually part of the uh, really uh, code that is running in production. So uh, it's not a, it's not an artificial example. I just took it <clears throat> from there, and uh, as you can see there, uh, the uh, you, you think at a high level and. Uh, uh, behind, uh, 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 underneath this, you, there are actually uh, three Hadoop jobs that kicked off in the process of this uh, thing, and uh, uh, they, they're executed, and it all uh, happens, uh, happens without, you know, or you, you doing it explicitly. So that's, uh, uh, that's the advantage of having it at high level. Uh, another problem is complexity, so uh, th there are a few things we can uh, do to deal with that. Um, we, th there's a lot of data, there's a lot of data, data files, so we, uh, we can think of uh, some reasonable way to organize this data and in, in some, some sort of reasonable file system, and that's, that's what we do. We have certain practices to, to organize that. I'm, I won't talk about it in more detail. And uh, uh, for every, every file, um, we need to know what, what data is, is within the file and what's the format, what is, what's the schema. So uh, to the, for that, we use Avro, uh, which allows you to uh, specify schema for the file. And it's actually embedded with the file itself. So that means that if, you, if you're just looking at, at your HDFS with all the million files in there, you found something interesting that you, can, you think you can work with. Uh, next thing you do, is just extract the schema if you, uh, from, from that file and uh, you are able to, to work with this thing in type safe manner. And then uh, we, had a, we had a talk about Scala.js, how, uh, how you can um, create, create a, a code on, on the fly and uh, look at all this uh, documentation and uh, um, uh, look at the methods that are available at every given point. Uh, this is the same kind of uh, uh, operation that you have here. As soon as you have, um, you, you have schema of the data and you compile this schema into, into Java classes, and these Java classes can be accessed uh, directly uh, by, by the Scala code. Uh, you, just, uh, you just have, um, have the same level of uh, ease for working with that. And you can uh, you can modularize you can uh, share share the code between uh, different uh, different pieces of code which is uh, which is very important when you have uh, high complexity. So scouting is great in this res uh, respect as well. I'll uh, skip that because I'm almost uh, about um, about out of time. So the killer argument is that uh, what's the best API for map reduce? It's uh, the one that has uh, map and reduce primitives inside it which is basically this is a valid Scala code which does um, uh, sum of uh, squares of uh, numbers. Uh, it's not, it's kind of a joke, but uh, still uh, it's nice to, to have a map reduce uh, within, within the uh, basic, basic API. So right now, uh, the way we use scouting uh, uh, a little bit more than a year ago, we started uh, doing, uh, doing jobs. We have uh, thousands of production lines of code uh, written and running in production, producing uh, 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 products that some, some of you are interacting with. So there are dozens of flows. We have internal uh, scouting users group, and we are trying to be active outside of that. Uh, many, many engineers in our company are you know, get, uh, get, getting more interested in this. And uh, uh, from the learning uh, point of view, um, um, it's, it's a, a known problem that, that it's kind of take a little bit of effort to learn Scala. It's a very, very rich language with, uh, with uh, a lot of features and stuff. But uh, specifically, uh, if, you, if you work with Hadoop development and you use Scala, you, all you need to do is a smaller subset of Scala, which, is, uh, which makes uh, learning a little bit uh, uh, smoother for, for, for people. And we have like new college graduates uh, getting up to speed quite quickly with this thing. 
So basically, in summary, uh, for data-driven product development, uh, scalding is uh, is. Uh, Okay, um, it's a, it's a, it's a great tool, and uh, you should check it out. Uh, plug for LinkedIn, uh, we're hiring, and uh, thank you very much.